Quick update for the digital marketing communication subject on the requirements of the infographic. Now, first thing I want to say is the infographic and its companion uh, individual contribution is worth about 10% of the grade. It is a small element and it was put in to be kind of an enjoyable element, um, but I understand it has caused a little more um, stress and tension than I intended. So I'd like to quickly address that. And what I want to explain is with an infographic, it's okay for you to use pre-existing templates and to use the materials and resources that exist on the internet to help you create something visually that explains the story of your assessment task. To that end, let's start off from PowerPoint. Under the PowerPoint file menu, under the category new, you will see that there are online templates and themes. Now, these things are really cool. Uh, there's a bunch of different thematic elements. There's a range of different opportunities over the side here. There is so much stuff, it is really cool. Uh, there's a lot of things you've got as starting points to really help you get underway and get your first uh, array of things started. So let's go ask the template library for what they've got under infographic. And you've got roughly 10 different posters, a few different diagrams. You've got options and opportunities to make use of infographics. Maybe what you want to do with your uh, paper is you want to summarize it as five key points. So there you have it. You can modify, change the uh, little icons that are in the center here. These clearly are some shape uh, elements. So you've got your colorization options up here, shape fill. Uh, if you go back to the inserts, maybe you want to use a different flow charts, do some stuff around this, there are options. You could put in your quick summary here, your uh, elements. There's ways and means to make use of this slide. So that's option one. You pull together a template. And what's even remarkable about this is under infographic, there's even an infographic in Microsoft Excel. So if you want to do an infographic that talks about the progress, particularly given the topic of the assignment is the invest or divest, the future of uh, this particular area of marketing communications, you would be able to run a framework here, fill out your key points on the back end here. So let's just quickly show you it happening in real time. Bang. you've got yourself an infographic that you can easily fill out your content elements here, fill out your component parts and watch it roll over and take effect on the next page. Copy and paste that into your Word document and you're done. So say you're not much of a fan of the old, uh, not a really huge fan of Microsoft, Excel or PowerPoint, then let's pop on down to the internet. And there are three platforms I'm going to point you out to. First, Pablo. Uh, it's pablo.buffer.com. Super easy to use. You could put together, uh, you'll note you've got your different, three different size boxes up here. Your middle box is Instagram sized. You've got a set of caption captioning options. You can simply add your text up here to discuss the outcome of your paper, put your results in, create a 
visual graphic over one of the preset images and tell a story that way. So that's option one. Option two, you've got a platform called Vengage. You sign into this through a Facebook login. Uh, it's free for a few uh, approaches. So if you find it super useful, you might want to hang on to it, do other things with it. But then you've even got things like a really straight up basic element. It will help you. So you could do an invest divest statement. Uh, if you want to do the average uh, Very quick to start being able to fill out the keywords, move some elements around the place, insert things, add things, compose things. There are ways <coughs> and means to use this. So feel free to create something that meets your needs. We swing back over. This is Canva. Again, it's a login through um, Facebook. Canva itself has a set of infographics. So you can make use of their infographics library and armory here to build something as a starting point, use one of these frameworks, then work it out from there. You may also find it um, kind of interesting to go use uh, this particular platform for a range of its other toolkits. Uh, Canva is quite robust and quite versatile. Swinging back up the line is uh, I've just signed into PictoChart before I started recording. So I need to do uh, Picture College University. Eh. I'm from the government and nonprofit, check. Let's go, it's in there. Infographic. And here we go. Basically, uh, preset templates, how to, it even comes with a, we're doing this in real time, we're doing it live, always a good, fun experience for recording. And here you have how to put together an infographic, an explanation of how to put together an infographic. So you can create and build uh, select the templates or build a new campus. There is a range of tools available to you to help you create this particular element of the task. So what you're ultimately looking for is you want to create something that you feel comfort confident in presenting, comfortable in using, and makes you feel that uh, the points that you are, your summary points are being communicated. So you have a whole series of uh, items, artifacts, elements that you can shape, reshape just to get your, out of, get your ideas onto a visual canvas and then work it from there. So the aim of the infographic is to ensure that all assignments uh, accompanied by a summary image. And that summary image can be created from any one of the toolkits available to you. I've just picked the first three to come off the, uh, the search. And as it happens, I knew about the Pablo system from beforehand. But the aim here is that you want to be able to make something that you feel communicates the core message of the paper as you understand it. Each member of the team, of the author team, will create one of these images, label it and give you, put your name on it. And also, this now is a little summary graphic for you of, you've just written a 2,000 word piece on what you see as a future trend in advertising, influenced by digital technology, and you built yourself a little infographic, share it around, get a little fame and uh, support for it. Put your name on it, put a contact email address on it, and there you have something that's a take-home, take-out, and useful in other aspects of your online presence. 
chuck it on LinkedIn, put it up on your Instagram. Do what you see fit with it, but make certain that you label it, you do it, and you enjoy it. Play with it, try out these functions, give it a bit of an explore, be creative, and enjoy the experience.